Everybody veterans over there in Vietnam getting high all the time. What they were doing to get high, why they were getting it, and how cheap it was, and that kind of thing. And decided to try it out. One of the nationalist Chinese from Taiwan that that Laotian general Wane acquired is set up in a region called Guan Khan. Yeah, right before that, there were some national Chinese there. Just not imported from Taiwan, but from the remnant army in Burma that may have started a minor opium crisis with the Lao royalists. The Burmese Shan got involved too. Following their retreat from the Civil War, the 93rd under General Li Mi stayed in Burma after the UN call out to get the nationalist Chinese out of Burma and Thailand, right next to the Hmong in Namu. These Taiwanese dominate the opium trade in Southeast Asia from a country that's not even theirs. The opium trade has been prevalent there for years as a lucrative cash crop to sustain the livelihood of the rural people there. Around September 1972, a CIA inspector general stated, opium was as much part of the agriculture infrastructure of this area as was rice, one suitable for the hills and the other suitable for the valleys. The KMT drug cartel had recoilless rifles, 50 cows, radios, crew served weapons, and 600 pack mules loaded with the tightest dope known to man and charged fucking taxes. Er, easy. You didn't pay your taxes for a couple of days now. Why don't you just relax a second? Get your bearings. Let's see what the day. They had an interesting story being a home too far, but things are about to get spicy. February 1967, a Shan Burmese warlord by the name of Kun Sa, or Chang Chifu if you're Chinese, who got his training from these Taiwanese soldiers, suddenly declared that he was entitled to the KMT transit taxes of all the drug mules moving through the Wa state in Burma. It was a declaration of war. He had his dudes gather 16 tons of opium from Wa and Kokang into Laos. He allegedly sold a record-selling 500,000 USD worth of dope to General Wane, who probably used his money to help fund his war in Laos. It's no problem, man. Let me just get some money out of my wallet. Wait a minute, I don't have any money! That the US were increasingly giving him less of towards the end of the US involvement in Indochina. The emphasis of the US mission in Indochina went from Laos in the 1950s to South Vietnam the moment Boots stepped on the ground in Da Nang in 1965. Khun Sa sent his 800 men mule train towards Ban Quan, but not before being pursued by the KMT Chinese, who have heard it over the radio. When his men crossed the Thai-Burma border area, they ignored the toll and began to be pursued by a thousand KMT soldiers of the 3rd and 5th armies. They fought in Kentung, but the Burmese were able to drive off their attackers. By 15th July, the mule train crossed the Mekong River into Laos. They arrived at their meeting spot at General Wane's sawmill and began to set up defenses. A school principal witnessed the incursion and called the nearest RLA post to do something about it. Using 5D trigonometry, Wane has to plan to gain permission from Prince Savanafuma to take military actions under the guise of protecting Laos sovereignty. He was allowed to drop in paratroopers, gunboats, and T-28 airstrikes. The Taiwanese arrived to the mill on July 24th, 1967 to begin negotiations with the Burmese and went nowhere. Suddenly out of nowhere, an RLA chopper arrived to announce both sides to get the hell out of Laos under orders of General Wane, which is confusing to the Burmese because he was the client, but they were told to stay secretly through radio message. The Taiwanese became impatient and demanded 2,500,000 US dollars as a price for them leaving. They were shot at because the Burmese did not agree. A battle ensued involving 50 cal 600mm mortars and recoilless rifles on July 29th. Then as things got better, the RLA summoned a T-28 airstrike on both sides. The RLA paratroopers marched towards the south end of the mill to block it. Another regular infantry battalion marched to the north to block that part. And on the Mekong, two patrol boats arrived to await any sort of movement. The fighting went on for two days as T-28 planes launched from Lua Pra Bang dive-bombed the mules and drug cartels. The remaining Burmese deserted towards the Mekong under fire, leaving their shipment behind and left Burma with 82 dead. The Taiwanese lost 70 men and 24 machine guns. They abandoned their mules and headed up north towards Burma, where they were blocked by the RLA grunts. Additional troops from Vientiane were also deployed to encircle the KMT. There were two accounts of what happened next, but either way, General Wane got his dope. What you're seeing is advanced warfare. The remaining KMT went north into Thailand, where they were met by the Thai army. News of the incident leaked out and put Thailand's security at risk. Unknown to the world, the Thais have been letting the Chinese nationalists thrive off their land as a way to contain their own communist problems with the CPT and PLA. But now that this news broke out that they were covertly using Taiwanese troops to threaten Chinese, Laotian, and Burmese sovereignty, they had to put them in timeout. 
In August 1967, the rest of the 3rd and 5th KMT armies were allowed back into their bases in North Thailand, where their descendants still live there to this day. The result of this battle is a meme of the whole war in Laos. In the words of Ted Shackley, a CIA agent, this battle of Bon Quan was the best combined arms operation to be mounted by the Lao conventional forces during my tour in Laos, and this was against the Taiwanese and Sean Burmese drug lords, not the Pat de Lao or the NBA. Hun Saw, feeling absolutely defeated and ashamed, went on the run being chased by Thai, Laotian, and Burmese government forces. Wani's product ended up going around the globe and possibly in the hands of the US troops in Vietnam. General Wane was truly a master general in the Second Indochina War. Up with General Abrams, Van Tien Dong, No Quang Duong, and Che Myung Sin. Notice how they are mostly Asian? Cause fuck you. <laughs>